know what I'm saying? They believe that they're actually there with their, you know what I'm saying, deceased, you know, uh, father or brother or whoever it is, you know? Connecting with the world of the dead. So Connecting with the world of the dead. Kind, yeah. kind, 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 kind. So, you know, it's just something about, you know, I, I just wanted to put that out there uh, just so you, you know, you understand that, you know, that Dia de los Muertos and Halloween, it's basically the same thing. You know, it's the same thing. You know, so the reason I'm saying that is because you would have somebody, you know, from the tribe of Issachar uh, try to justify that, well, I don't celebrate Halloween, you know what I'm saying? But then you'll ask them about Dia de los Muertos and they go all in. I mean, some of them, you know what I'm saying, might say they even celebrate for a week, you know what I'm saying, which is just nothing but partying, you know? And uh, matter of fact, to bring something out, I actually spoke to a... Uh, to a, you know what I'm saying, uh, a guy, you know, uh, from the Northern Kingdom, you know, from the actual tribe of Issachar, you know, and and I asked him, you know what I'm saying, I was like, yeah, man, all that bullshit, man, uh, you know, that uh, our people be doing, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's bullshit, man, you know, and this is what he told me, you know, which I mentioned it to you, uh, uh, Elder, uh, he said, man, us as the people, man, and this is somebody in the world, us as the people, man, if we could, we would celebrate a chicken's birthday, man. Just a party. That's Jake, man. That's the Northern Kingdom, man. That's the reason why they got, that's why they were the first ones to get kicked out, man, because they was in all that, I mean, kicked out of the land of Israel because they was in all their idolatry, man. But you got scriptures to bring out. Yeah. And, you know, just, just to get back into the uh, scriptures, uh, we're going to get a uh, is it Deuteronomy chapter 18 and uh, we're going to start at uh, verse 9 okay this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 9 when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy, thy power given thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations and right there and right there, you know, when it says, you know, when you, when thou shalt come into this, you know, land, which is, Israel. Yeah. Which is you know, which is Israel, you know, uh, you know, you got, you got, you know what I'm saying, you got some of our people, uh, like say in Mexico, and they come over here and a lot of them don't even know of, you know, like Halloween or Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying, or, or Easter, you know what I'm saying, so when they come over here, they, they start to do them, you know what I'm saying? Not actually knowing the history behind it. Yeah, they get swallowed up by the Babylonian Jews. <laughs> yeah, they get swallowed up by the Babylonian Jews when they come over to, other, to the other side of the border. Come. And see, Easter not even in the scripture. They go back, when you read Acts the 10th chapter, uh, uh, that goes back to the Passover. And the chicken don't, uh, I mean the rabbit don't lay chicken eggs. But see, that's all customs of America, man. And what happens is they come up here and they get uh, addicted to the Babylonian Jews because it seems like it's fun, Come. but it's but it's but it's but it's a death sentence. Come. You Come. know. Come. All right, and uh, we, uh, can you read that again? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 9. When thou art come into the land. Which the Lord, thy, thy power given thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. So they're right there in that scripture is letting you know. Yeah. You know, abomination is another, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the meaning of abomination is disgust. And the heavenly, you know, the heavenly fathers, you know, which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, that's a that's a that's a disgusting thing. Yeah. You know? To learn, you know what I'm saying, the, the way of these, you know what I'm saying, heathens, basically. Yeah, unclean. Unclean. Come, yeah. Come. yeah. And see, when you when you deal with Deuteronomy, the uh when you deal with the book of Deuteronomy, it's the second book of the law. And see what Moses is doing is, see they got it, they got it, and uh when you read the book of Exodus, what Moses is doing is going over it again and letting Israel know how they supposed to conduct themselves and serve Yahweh Shema Shah before they enter into the land of Canaan, which was, it was Canaan at that time, but then it became, you know, 
uh, Jerusalem. But that's the same way we're doing today. We're telling you, according to the scriptures, how you conduct yourself before we, uh, Lord willing, we don't mean that endure to the end, come. get delivered and enter, and enter into the land of Jerusalem when Yahweh Shah comes back. Go come. the same way. You know? So I'll read that one more time. This is a Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 9. When thou art come into the land which thy Lord, thy, thy power given thee, thou shalt not learn to, to do after the abominations of those nations. Yeah. Yeah. Talking to familiar spirits. Come. You know, like you like you're going into, you know? Come, come, uh, come. Uh, worshiping the dead, talking to a familiar spirit. Nah, come, come. you don't do that, man. That's what the Canaanites was doing, man. Them heathens, man. That's why uh, Israel got statute laws and commandments on how to how to worship the heavenly Father and how to govern themselves so they can prosper in the land that they was about to enter in, man. And that's the same way today. We about to enter back in that land when Yahweh shot comes. So those customs we we put off as a nation of people because those customs. All right, we're not going to practice those customs when we get back in the land, okay? So we're rehearsing the righteous acts right now when you read the book of Judges, the fifth chapter, all right? You got it, bro. You continue on. That's, that's, uh... This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. So that right there, you know, is, is to sacrifice. Basically, don't sacrifice your son and daughters, you know. Go ahead. To those idols. To them idols and yeah. to all these customs, you know. Yeah, because, see, in the ancient world, in the ancient world, they, they uh, them heathens, look, the reason why they would sacrifice their daughters and their, and their, and their son is they thought that that was a way to please their their idol god. But see, pleasing Yahweh Bashim was shy, we didn't have to do that. All we had to do was follow his statute laws and commandments. So Yahweh Bashim was shy is telling us, like we were saying from the beginning, and like I was saying from the beginning, those ways uh, are not how we supposed to govern ourselves like them heathens, man, we're supposed to follow the scripture. You see? Go ahead, bro. Continue on. Or that use divination. And divination, if you actually look that word up, divination, is witchcraft. Or an observer. Or the observer is a, a fortune teller. Soothsayer. Yep. Soothsayer. Come, come, come. So you don't, you don't deal, you don't, see, when you deal, when you, when you, when you deal with them soothsayers, what you're trying to do is have somebody look at the heavens and read the heavens or fortune teller to where they can predict your future. Right. And the most high, Yahweh Hashem Shah, is the truth. So what you're doing is you're going to a witch Okay, to find out your future when yeah. you serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, your future will be prosperous. But what you do is when you do that, go to the left hand side, you piss the most high off because he's jealous power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So you he looking at you like, look, you going to the to the enemy to find out about your future, which I set up. You trying to go around what I set up. Nah, it don't work like that. So I'm gonna become jealous and angry, and I'm gonna punish you for that. Con, con. You see? Con. That's, that's, what, that's what would happen. Con. And that's uh, and that's something that uh, that the Northern Kingdom, man, man, they 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 run to them, man. Yeah. I mean, they got one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that 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 everybody knows. You know that everybody knows, and they would rather run to one of them uh, brujos. You know what I'm saying? To uh, to ask them, you know what I'm saying? Ask them about their future. To to uh, ask them about why they're going, you know, through what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? And then brujos, man, all they do, all they do is practice uh, witchcraft. You know? 
Yeah, I got one, bro. This Exodus, this Exodus uh, 22 and uh, 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So a witch is supposed to be put to death. Come, come, come. You see? Come. That's in the law. Okay? This is Exodus 22 and uh, 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So a witch is supposed to be put to death. Go ahead. Or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. And that's, I mean, that enchanter, man, that's 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 somebody that practices divination. It's an enchanter. Is all he's doing is practicing witchcraft. You know, which that's what you, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, Northern Kingdom, you know, what I'm saying, like to run to first. You know, one of them brujos. Rather, y'all, you know, what I'm saying, say that he's a a good brujo. Or a bad brujo. Man, it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing. But then you some y'all was shy who they're seeking. Yeah, they you know? need to be put to death. They need to be put to death according to the scriptures. You know? And what do you, what do, you do? You go and you give them money. To support his witchcraft. To support his witchcraft. Verse 11. Or a charmer. And charmer, a, charmer, it's like a, uh, and a charmer, you know what I'm saying, is a uh, one who casts spells, you know. And like I said, you know, I know right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you know, I'm getting a little bit on uh, the Northern Kingdom, man. Huh? Yeah, you know, you got it, you got because it. hey, that Northern Kingdom, man, I know, I know, you know, a lot of brothers go into the Southern Kingdom, man. Hey, that Northern Kingdom, man. Hey, I'm <laughs> talking to you, man. You know, which is the so-called, you know, Latinos, so-called Native Americans, all right? Y'all are quick to, you know, sum up and uh, call on your ancestors, you know what I'm saying? Face the, face the, the south, face, uh, face the heavens, you know what I'm saying? Face something, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are quick. Go ahead. Uh. Or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits. And a consulter already is, is like what, uh, somebody that you can go and ask for advice. Yeah. What should I do in this situation? So I can prosper in the so future. So I can prosper in the future. Yeah. You know? And like I said, Northern Kingdom, man, you, you're, uh, you, uh, Latinos, man, y'all are known for that, man. Y'all think that shit is normal. Yeah, you know, women probably, probably do that to see if they're gonna get a good husband. Kind, kind. Yeah. Or what to do, or, or or what to do, to be able to keep the dude that they got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rather, it's got to do with something that they got to cook, or you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever they got to do, man, to try to keep that man. You know what I'm saying? Coming back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They go to the witches to get counsel on Cunt. that right there. Come on, on that particular thing. How how can I how can I get this dude? To just keep working his ass off and uh, bringing money to me. Yeah. You know? Be a slave. Be a slave. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. Uh, up uh, down there. Yeah. Oh, I got a. Uh, I got a. Uh, and when they do that, like I said, the reason I, I say that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's something that I, you know, I was around when I was younger. I just never took part of it because something in my spirit didn't sit well with that. You know what I'm saying? Rather it was, you know, aunts or, you know what I'm saying, people like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, they, and all they're doing is going based on their own understanding. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, yeah, if you can give me that scripture, all right. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. Yeah. You know? Because I dealt with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've had, I've had, uh, you know, people I knew, you know, around me, you know, that were quick to do that. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to follow your un your own understanding or, or your own emotion. You know what I'm saying? But I want him. You know what I'm saying? That's what them females say. But I want him. And he don't want to stay with me. You know? <laughs> This is uh, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh our Heavenly Father. Yeah, 
not no, not no uh, witch. <laughs> not no brujo, man. Not no, you know, brujeria and sataneria, whatever, you know what I'm saying? All that different shit they call it, man. Yeah. Right, uh, with all thine heart. With all thine heart. And right there, that, you know, that word right there, heart, in the Hebrew is lav. It means with, with all your mind. And lean not unto thine own understanding. And lean not unto thy own understanding. It's in the scriptures. You know, how you supposed to govern yourself? Come, come, it's come. in there. Look, you don't consult. You don't go to them witches for counsel. You don't do that. Because that's going to make the most high jealous. That's going to make who the world in every call God and who the world in every call Jesus which in the Hebrew, the name, the name, how you would say it, God in the Hebrew, his true name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's how you would say it. And you don't, and you don't uh, go to them witches in order to uh, piss the most high off and lean on your own understanding, thinking that that's the way. Nah, that's wickedness. And that's the last thing you want to do, man, is to have Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai against you. 